Welcome to the Nancy Kimball Cobblestone House. During these difficult times with the shelter in place recommendations, we decided to provide an update on the progress we've been making here on the cobblestone. Hi everyone, my name is Kristen Sunquist. I'm the historic preservation planner for the city of Elgin. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit briefly about the door surround that I'm standing in right now. So this has a little bit of a history. It's been going on for about eight months now that we've been researching and manufacturing what will be here. Um, to start off with, the existing door was not original to the home. The only original element was the limestone sill that I'm standing on right now. Unfortunately, that sill, after 174 years of use, and unfortunately was painted, which trapped moisture, causing it to deteriorate even further, was irreparable. So we had to replace the sill, and it matches what was once here. And um, we also included a new limestone lintel, as you can see above me. In terms of what will go here, we unfortunately didn't have any uh, historic photographs that were close enough to show us what the original design looked like. So we had to borrow elements from the neighborhood and of other Greek revival houses. And so what we found at 328 Mountain Street, it's another cobblestone house similar to this one, they still have their original door surround and features, so we were able to borrow those elements in terms of its design for this new door. We, uh, typical of Greek Revival homes, four panel doors were something that uh, you would see, so that's what we're going to be using for our new door. It did originally have side lights here and a transom, which this piece here will be removed so that new transom window could allow more light into uh, the cobblestone house. The door will be of mahogany, which is really exciting. And the paint scheme will be um, something of a, a pop of color to the neighborhood, drawing you into the cobblestone. Again, we are excited for all the progress that is going on here at the cobblestone, and we hope you are too. See you soon. We're standing in the main room here at 302 West Chicago, uh, where we have just completed updating the interior of the building. That includes the electric, the plumbing, the HVAC, insulation, and the drywall. Okay, so what we're looking at here is an original window opening. You can see that these windows are splayed back from the actual opening. And so our carpenter is trimming all of this out so that it will accept this trim, which is original trim from, from the house in 1846. Over here you can see one of the uh, one of the pieces of trim that uh, has been cleaned up, inserted into this window opening right here. The window treatment over here has been replicated by our master craftsman, Dan Miller. His final step will be to add trim around the windows. Okay, so what we're looking at here is part of the exposed wall. At one point, there was lath and plaster over all this. You can see here they inset pieces of wood so that they would be able to attach stuff like stairs, doorways, trim. Every once in a while you go through here you see these pieces of wood set into the stone. And according to the Sanborn maps, this was probably one of the original entrances. So here we are going upstairs. The second floor probably would have been used mainly for sleeping rooms. Uh, we've got it divided into uh, one room here on the north side. There'll be an exact similar room on the south side. You can see over here we've got the tile floor put in. Uh, they added wainscoting and we've got the uh, walls painted. So we are approaching completion here of the uh, second floor bathroom. This room here and the other one that we just looked at will probably both be used as uh, small offices and possibly a community group can uh, set up an office in here. If 
you look down here, you can see that this has all been parged and this is recent work. This was done by our uh, stonemason, John Crow. This is an exposed cobblestone wall. This will be left exposed. This floor, which is now a poured concrete floor, was a dirt floor. We put in a, a radiant heating system between the stone and the concrete. As we're going here into the mechanical room, over here you have the boiler, uh, which handles the heating for the, for the radiant heating from the floor. And we also have a forced air system, which will heat the rest of the building. When they put the water, brought in the new uh, water supply for the building, they had to dig a trench out front. The trench was about two feet wide and about six foot deep. As I stood alongside that trench, the walls of the dirt looked just like a cobblestone wall, except they were just deposited cobblestones that were in the ground. The reason people built cobblestone houses back in the day was because there was nothing but cobblestone around here, so they used the material they had. 